Hi there, in this video we'll learn about a situation where we have to decide if we should produce a good or if we should import it from some other country. This is an important situation whenever we are doing a project analysis or an intervention assessment where we can get the certain inputs uh, from abroad. We can import it or we can also Im uh, produce it. Uh, in the local industry so how should we choose between these two options this is what we will do here this is a process where we find out the domestic resource cost which is attributed to Bruno because he summarized most of these techniques and he gave um, a kind of summary for which we attribute this technique to more, uh, Bruno and we call it modified Bruno ratio now a little bit of its background because uh, the decision is to be undertaken regarding the importing or import substituting for a certain project where local production is possible in addition to the import option. And then the purpose is to save cost and for an exchange. If we are able to choose the less cost alternative that is the cheaper alternative either to import or to import uh, substitute then we will be able to save the cost and that cost saving will get translated into foreign exchange as i said earlier that there are a few approaches to find the domestic resource cost that are discussed in detail by bruno in 1967 and um, this is why we collectively call this uh, topic as modified ratio. And uh, since 1960s, this technique has been widely used for the estimation of comparativeness of industries in developing countries. The reference are these. So it's about the comparativeness of industries because we can decide if the import substitution is cost effective or importing is cost effective so if import substituting is cost effective it shows that the local industries are comparative in nature so it can guide us about the comparativeness of the industries as well it is also applied to transition economies and it is attributed to this author in this certain year what we do in this process is to compare the opportunity cost of domestic production to the value addition that it generates. So the comparison is between these two values uh, that is the amount which is spent in local production. It is in terms of local currency for example uh, real or yen or PKR this is uh, represented with DC that is the domestic cost and J is the activity of production and then we have uh, VA with a certain I um, this is basically the value addition that the import substitution uh, the imported inputs they generate and if we uh, find out the value addition of the imported goods then it becomes the savable foreign exchange and definitely it is in terms of foreign currency so in other words uh, this will be in local currency and this will be in international currency and if the answer is one it means uh, it, if the answer is uh, five and definitely in the denominator there will be one so it means that in order to save one currency unit we have to spend five local uh, currency units for example if the answer is 5 it means that in order to save $1 we have to spend 5 local currency units for example PKR or uh, Real or Yen or any other local currency in other words we are trying to find out the present value of the domestic currency cost that is used to realize the foreign exchange savings and the present value of the net foreign exchange savings these are the same things that are written in the numerator and the denominator here and they are written in another jargon we have explained what DCJ stands for and IVA stands for uh, this is at border price it means that the price that is being charged at the 
border when the importing is done and then criterion is simply to compare the domestic resource cost that we found here with this formula with the official exchange rate or with the shadow exchange rate OER stands for official exchange rate and SER stands for shadow exchange rate we know about the official exchange rate but shadow exchange rate needs a little bit of clarification shadow exchange rate basically is the uh, economic price of foreign currency where the official exchange rate is the financial price of the foreign currency so this is the economic perspective here what is a certain formula it is simply found by multiplying OER with this factor that is 1 plus foreign exchange premium and this is in terms of percentages this foreign exchange premium again that is another uh, small topic that how we can find the foreign exchange premium but definitely it includes factors that are affecting the overall economic situation and these are the factors that are not considered in our financial analysis so foreign exchange premium it is used to find out the shadow exchange rate now we can compare the DRC with OER or SER as the case may be considering the three possibilities uh, either DRC is equal to official exchange rate it means that we can either go for import or we can go for import substitution here this equality gives us indecisiveness and then we have uh, the other interpretation that is domestic spending is equal to the credit cost because in the numerator we have domestic spending or domestic cost and in the uh, denominator we have the traded cost here so if DRC is greater than OER then we can import because the domestic resource cost is greater than the official exchange rate in simple words we are spending more to save one dollar locally uh, so it's better to spend the uh, finances on importing the good because the local production is expensive here the case is reverse that the domestic resource cost is less than the official exchange rate it means that it is cheaper to produce locally domestically as compared to importing the certain good the domestic spending is less and definitely import substitution is the recommendation now we can do all of this by using this uh, real life project here the discounting factor is 20 percent and we are going to find out the two values in the numerator and the denominator of the domestic resource cost this is the numerator the denominator and it is the net benefits but due to the trade it means that this is the traded component of the project and definitely it is in international currency that is US dollars the components that it has is simply the number of years and the years it's um, and then we have the capital cost and the operation and maintenance cost and then we have the total costs these negative costs that show that there is solvage value and then the benefits they are listed we can easily find the difference of the two that is the net benefits but these are net traded benefits and these are the values the discounting factor so this is calculated at 20 percent discount rate this is the series of the discounted net traded benefits which is the product of these two columns for each of the year so this is the overall value this is actually the denominator which was the present value of the net foreign exchange savings now we come to the numerator and it was about the costs the domestic costs in this case we choose PKR as the local currency and here we are the number of years and then we have time the serial number of the years capital costs and operation maintenance costs so we will sum these to get the total costs 
and finally we have the discounting factor which is at 20 percent you see that there are no benefits because we are talking about the costs that how much does it cost to produce locally and the discounted costs are found by simply multiplying these two columns once we do this we get the uh, numerator of the formula now we can use the formula to uh, find out the domestic resource cost as you remember the domestic cost will appear in the numerator and this will appear in the denominator that is the net traded benefits here the present value of uh, non-traded costs here it is the present value of the net traded benefits it is here found already official exchange rate is 22 shadow exchange rate is 27.5 it is greater than the official exchange rate it is evident because foreign exchange rate when gets added into one it becomes a value greater than one and then it increases the value of official exchange rate once we multiply it with this factor and we can see that the two uh, exchange rates they are different so it means that financial analysis is different from economic analysis the domestic resource cost that we found is equal to this and here we have mentioned that to save one dollar one has to spend 1.05 1 1.07 pkr the interpretation is written over here and then we have the domestic resource cost and needs to be compared with the official exchange rate and the shadow exchange rate once we do we see that domestic resource cost is less than both of them it means that it is cheaper to produce locally domestic resource cost is smaller so it is better to import substitute it is better from the point of view of financial analysis that is official exchange rate and from the point of view of economic analysis that is shadow exchange rate so the decision remains the same no matter we use the official or shadow exchange rate now we can do further analysis by uh, finding that how much of the savings we have actually done because this um, analysis is all about doing the savings how much of it is done and uh, for example how much of the percentage of it is done here we have found those first two are from the official exchange rate point of view and the second are from the shadow exchange rate point of view the first is the savings in its absolute terms and then we have calculated the percentage savings so uh, shadow ex uh, official exchange rate shows that this is how much uh, we have saved and it is clear that out of 22 we if we subtract this we will get 20.93 so if we are spending this much the remaining amount out of 22 will be saved and here we have written this is from the financial point of view uh, we can also find out its percentage so this percentage is also calculated that is the difference of these two values the official exchange rate and the DRC and divided by the DRC converted into percentage terms we will get this so it's a quite um, it's a manifold percentage that we have saved from um, producing locally so this is a very significant value and advocates the local production that is the import substitution very strongly and even from the point of a short exchange rate uh, we we get another desirable value that is the savings they are 26.43 which is a difference of 27.5 and 1.07 and then we have uh, the same value in terms of percentage and it's a manifold value showing that if we uh, do the domestic production we can save a lot because um, we are taking the difference of these two values and dividing it with the domestic resource cost so it's a quite uh, desirable thing to do the import substitution no matter we are doing the financial analysis or economic analysis so the uh, details are given here it is possible to save uh, quite a bit of amount and that amount is mentioned there 
so finally we decide that it is better to import substitute and uh, this was the financial point of view and this was the economic point of view you can pause the video and read these lines that uh, are already explained from the uh, interpretation of these tables this was the calculation of the numerator this was the calculation of the denominator and this is the comparison this is the background of SER shadow exchange rate the criterion the formula the numerator and the denominator the background the people who contributed into this and why we call it Bruno ratio so this is the um, tool for deciding if we should import or if it is or if it is better to do the import substitution that is the local production